वेलकम एवरीवन इन आवर वर्चुअल क्लासरूम टुडे द सब्जेक्ट इज इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स एंड डिजाइन एंड पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज फ्लोर प्लान सो व्हाट यू विल लर्न फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर इज हाउ टू डिजाइन अ ड्रीम हाउस व्हाट्स द मेथड टू डिजाइन अ हाउस एंड हाउ to draw the house means the floor plan plan of a floor generally uh, the uh, plan that i am going to discuss is for ground floor plan this is the 10th lecture of our engineering graphics class while designing various components of a house that is also discussed like uh, say the uh, wc means the water closet or uh, the toilet bathroom sink all these things and uh, the outcome of this lecture is we can develop the plan and the elevation of a house then what is the purpose listen the purpose is it may be a personal application means you want to design your own house as you are you all are engineers so you should have some conception of this house apart from this you know some commercial application is there a big uh, uh, construction company they have to construct so before that construction they have to go for the design of the house that is for the client purpose means who will buy for them also and as well as the builders the engineers technicians for all to give the details technical information like the dimensions the shape size of the rooms and all this some important component or part of or the segment of the floor plan design is scale measurement compass door sliding doors fixtures windows and so on i will discuss here some basic components let's come to the point scale we know a house is a very big object as compared to the drawing sheet or drawing area so we'll use here reducing scale now how much proportion we'll reduce that depends on differently depends on the overall size and the size available in your sheet but at the same time we will not take any uneven ratios rather we will take some standard ratio like say uh, 1 is to 100 1 is to 50 1 is to 25 but it's not that say 1 is to 21 this type of ratio generally is not taken and the most common uh, ratio here is 1 is to 100 1 is to 200 and 1 is to 550 now another important thing is measurement what is the dimension of the room kitchen the uh, your uh, the dining and all this then what is the unit the standard unit is millimeter and sometime it is also mentioned in feet and inches the third important thing is the compass compass means we know it is our uh, the uh, summer country and that's why we like the south wind in the summer season so south facing room is preferable 
and that's why the angle of the uh, windows or angle of the font of the house or where the doors and windows are there whether it is south uh, south facing or not that is very important that's why an angle is given and that angle is given with respect to the north direction here say this is the north direction and this is one of the wall of your house then you know then what particular uh, angle is this and in a practical example i will explain this other important thing is the um, thing is uh, the door now various types of doors are used and you know say uh, here it is the door this green line and this dotted line indicates how much the door can be rotated in most of the cases in our uh, house the door can rotate 90 degree from here to here and sometimes it is 180 degree also so this is the method to show the door and apart from all these other fixtures are also there like uh, a bathtub is there your uh, shower sink the uh, western commode or indian commode all this and uh, various racks also so these are image of the western commode you have to place in a suitable position and lastly it is the windows the symbol of the windows is like that mostly it is the symbol of the sliding windows and if it is multi storied building then stairs is must even if it is uh, if there is only ground floor then also we will use the stairs so that at least we can go to the rooftop of this house this is the design this is step is here this arrow indicates this is the path that will start and you will move this rest part the half part is dashed line means it is above if it is the ground floor then it is the above the stairs that you can't see while when you are uh, sitting on the now uh, sitting or standing on the ground floor then these stairs you can't see you only can see this part of the stairs these stairs are there but from the floor you can't see and that's why that is by dust lines now let's see a standard uh, uh, floor plan a typical floor plan rather that i have uh, given here the scale that i choose here is 1 is to 50 say the length of the house is 36 feet this red line it indicates the boundary of the wall and the width is 20 feet so complete that and this is the outside stairs generally most of the houses are uh, above the, the if it is the ground floor plan then these stairs uh, must be there for the ground floor because uh, from the ground level with respect to your land the level of the ground floor is something higher say so three steps of stairs are there and say there are uh, two uh, the, the door with two uh, palla this and this and both the uh, door are rotating 90 degree so from here to here it is 90 degree angle then there should be a stairs using through you can go up so the stair is 
starting from here. Remember, it is your float design. It is a typical example. So all the stair position and the design did not be same as this. Okay. Then uh, that part which is not visible from the floor, ground floor, you will uh, rise. And then uh, this uh, particular dimension is for the uh, the bedroom. It is 11 feet and 5 inches and 9 feet and 5 inches. One door is uh, differently there, which is uh, rotating 90 degrees. This is the kitchen, the corresponding dimension. Here I have given all dimension in feet and inches. The toilet within the toilet in one extreme side, I place this western commode. In your house, it may not be western commode, maybe the Indian commode. And in some of the houses, if the toilet is sufficiently large, then western and Indian uh, toilet um, latrine uh, both is uh, accompanied there. And say there, this one is the master bedroom. The master bedroom means if attached bath is also there along with this with this bedroom, then it is called the master bedroom. So attached toilet. Generally, in the master bedroom, small toilets are there, and this toilet is the general toilets. And definitely, uh, this space is for the uh, common or dining space. Now this hash line that I have given. It is the cross-sectional part of your house. So all these walls, these are these are the walls actually. This is the sectional part. And you know to represent the sectional part we are using hash lines. So hash line is there. And compared to the outer boundary, the inner boundary, inner walls are thinner. Say it is 10 inch, then it is 5 inch only. Now uh, another door is uh, there with a uh, two parlor door. <laughs> now uh, give the corresponding dimension of uh, all these uh, windows and the, the doors and the staircase everything. So some windows are uh, placed there in the drawing hall. If some extended sun sunsets are there, these are the sunsets outside this uh, window. Similarly, this along with this sunset window is there. So, window must be there in all the rooms. That actually also acts like a ventilation for this uh, toilet. For all these toilets, this uh, ventilation is compulsory. That's why there must be uh, either a small uh, window or a ventilation. If it is a uh, window, in that case, actually it is ventilation, not window, uh, rather uh, same symbol is given. If uh, for this uh, ventilation, uh, the, some uh, special types of glass are used, which is not visible from the, uh, the outside. So this is the overall design of our house it's a typical house and as per your requirement you will design your house this is the application this is the application of the sides say uh, along in the, this is the north direction and this particular wall is 13 degree with the north direction. It is north means this side is the south. So all this uh, window is getting the south wind. <coughs> so 
Okay, so this is all about the floor plan, and I will expect that uh, uh, now you also can design your floor plan. Nowadays, though, these floor plans are not uh, done manually, and most of the drawing is done. So this is the typical example of floor plan. The unit system that I have used here is feet and inches. But uh, um, in most of the cases nowadays, millimeter is used. So you can use the millimeter also. You need not mention the unit here. If it is millimeter, only write down the values of the dimension. Another important thing, you need not use the multicolors as I have given here. I have given multicolor for better understanding for you. The line thickness is very important and uh, most of these are the boundary line. So it is the thick continuous line and the hash line that is the medium thick line. And this indicates only the direction and the dimension. So we know that is the thin continuous line. You can use the AutoCAD software to design for and uh, better perfection. Nowadays, most of the engineering drawings are performed in AutoCAD. So this is all about the uh, floor plan. And uh, thank you for your patience. I think you have listened thoroughly. Don't skip the uh, lecture and I will expect that in future also you will follow this series of lecture. Once again, thank you.